Alright guys, it's Saturday morning over here on Hard Scrabble Road, right up Clemson. Clemson Road. Big Bulls banging barbecue and southern comfort food. Uh, had a lot of several people ask me to give this place a shot. Open Wednesday through Friday, 11 to 2.30, 5 to 9. Open late, 12 to 9 on Saturday, 12 to 6 on Sunday. Hash barbecue. We'll go on in here and see what we all right guys i'm back in the back in the truck and uh woof thing right here looks good went into big bulls banging barbecue southern comfort food.com it's probably the most 21st century place I've been into as far as uh, independent. They got an app you can order your food on, whether you got Android or iPhone. They got kiosk at every table. You can order your uh, food on. Sign up there says, this is not fast food. You know, it's going to take 10 to 30 minutes to prepare your food. And he was right. It took about 15 minutes. Um, they're cooking out on the side over here. But, you know, we'll see whether it was worth the wait or not. Um, all kinds of, you know, you saw the menu on there. All kinds of food from sandwiches and fries, chicken, um, oxtails and rice, uh, barbecue, pulled pork, hash, uh, ribs, and different combinations of, of that. I got the two meat combo for $19.95. It's uh, pulled pork barbecue. It's ribs. And then two sides, which I got the uh, pork dressing and the macaroni and cheese and a roll. $19.95 ended up being 21 bucks for tax. No problem. All right, let me show you this now. This sucker here, that's the ribs on top with the with the roll. Underneath is the uh, the other three things, but let me look at this now. That sucker weighs three pounds. That ain't bad. So here come the ribs right here. I'm gonna give them a taste, and see where they rank. Tell you what, you can taste the smoke on them. Charcoal. I saw him pouring it in there. Some more in there. As I was pulling up, got the smoker out front. Look at that. One of them deals where they tender, but they're not too tender. Like they not fall off the bone, but you don't want them to. They're perfect. Take a bite, comes right off the bone. Soft up. Mmm. Boy, let me tell you, you can taste the smoke in them ribs right there, man. Ain't bad. That's a good rib. That's a good rib. I mean, in the hell, I got three more of them. All right. I'll show you this him, bad boy. I mean, I'm talking about the whole trough the whole trough is barbecue the whole trough and then you got macaroni and then um pork dressing on the on the, on the, the two compartments there god almighty like i said like sweet honey red vinegar dressing i mean uh sauce Man, that's good. You know, I think we get used to this, uh, the same old pulled pork, a little bit of mustard based sauce on there, and it all tastes the same. It really doesn't taste like it's always been cooked on charcoal. It tastes, 
a lot of places we go to, it's all about the sauce. I mean, the meat is cooked, it's pulled pork, but it tastes like, you can't tell the difference when it's cooked in a, a crock pot, in the oven, or just on a, a high heat, pressure cook and pulled apart. You can tell this sucker right here was cooked out here in the front yard. God, damn. that's a lot of, that's a lot of, that's a lot of meat, man. I don't even know. I thought this thing weighed about three pounds. I think two pounds of barbecue. Hell, most places that would cost you 20 bucks. Look at that. Good. I'm interested about this pork dressing. I love dressing. I've grown up my whole life eating homemade dressing, not stovetop stuffing, but dressing. Like homemade dressing, cornbread dressing. This is cornbread dressing. My grandparents made the best cornbread dressing there ever was on Thanksgiving. I'd eat two helpings of that every single time. I love it. Man, that's good. It's got onions, peppers, season. Oh, man. Let me tell you. God, oh. that's good dressing. That's great dressing. That dressing right there, look at how much barbecue that is. I mean, that's a, I mean, usually you get like one scoop, then they throw some hash and rice over there and, and take away the, the, the pork. That's a lot of meat, cool. Three jumbo ass ribs right there, God no. Big Bull's doing work, man. Let me check this macaroni out. Oh yeah, look at that, you barely pull it apart. Cheese all the way through it, not watery, and dry. Yeah, that's uh, that's Fellowship Hall macaroni and cheese right there. That's when you wait all day, get through church, walk across to the Fellowship Hall. Oh, Miss Sandra done made some good homemade macaroni and cheese. That ain't no joke right there. Well, I'm gonna tell you, you never know, man, because everybody with a grill thinks they're they are, they are a barbecue pit master. Oh, I'm real, man. God, yo! Everybody thinks they're a barbecue pit master. Got a little, little Weber out front, handful of charcoal. Think they can cook a barbecue. Think they can cook a butt, hog. Back to back days, man. I done had some good barbecue. D and H out there in Manning. Good, good little buffet. Great sauce. Great value. Big bulls banging barbecue and southern comfort food. I'm gonna tell you, man. Don't many people make ribs like this. I know some of you think I'm lying probably think I'm fabricating this or exaggerating the truth here. Man, God, don't matter. I'm not. If this was average, not very good. I just sampled it up, took one rib, a couple bites of barbecue, macaroni, dressing, roll, went on down the road, give them a seven and a half. Say it's pretty good if you like barbecue. Just any case. Hidden Gym, Northeast Columbia. Hard Scrabble Road. Small building, not a lot of parking. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Somebody parked by the road, construction going on. Makes it a little tough to get in and out of here. I'm gonna tell you what, download the app, call ahead, whatever pull in get your food come out you know it's not the most convenient but you can eat inside if you like I offers you the uh the option to eat inside there's five tables in there get you a plate get on down the road get back to the house it's worth it man there ain't no barbecue on the northeast side really not a lot of barbecue at all in a 30 30 minute radius from uh Lugol, south carolina so it's tough for us to find good barbecue. 
We had to drive down to Charleston, eat at Rodney Scott's. Right. Lewis Barbecue. Hey, not to disturb you, how do you like driving this Tundra? I'm in the market for a pickup and I'm looking at the Silverado and a Tundra. And I just see you sitting here beside me, so maybe it's fake. I love it. Yeah? Yeah. The only bad thing about it is gas mileage. It doesn't get great gas mileage. What's not great? Fifteen. Fifteen. Mm, okay. How about on the highway or interstate? It's still not good. Not the same? I tell you, if I was going to go, I'd probably go like a Tacoma, the smaller version. Yeah. This is a V8. It eats a lot of, drinks a lot of gas, but the, the uh, Tundra is probably 20 something to the gallon. You know, it's a little bit smaller. This is a little bigger. The Tacoma. Yeah. Okay. Tacoma, yeah. Okay. You eat this barbecue before? Yeah, man. I come here all the time. It's great, man. It, it's delicious. You had the ribs? <laughs> Just about everything on that menu. I had a, I go around doing food reviews. Yeah. And the guy, I was downtown Columbia one day, and he told me to give this spot a try. Yeah. I got here, I was kind of suspect. Just because it's a small little place, and everybody thinks they can cook barbecue. You know, everybody I'm thinks they can. I'm with you. Best ribs I ever had, man. And the thing is, I found it just sort of like you, just word of mouth. I'm like, man, I can't. You know, like you said, everybody can't cook barbecue. And right. I hate to waste money. And I tried it. I'm like, wait a second. I could get with this. And I don't know if you've tried some of their sweets, like peach cobbler or mm -hmm. something. You got to do it. Okay. You got to do it. All right. Yeah. All right, thanks, though. All right, brother. Have a good day, man. Thanks, you too. All right. Got to try some sweets. Uh, truck review. Food review. I'm going to tell you, man, getting back to it. That pork dressing. Macaroni and cheese. I'm going to eat all these ribs now. I mean, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to tell you what. Hidden gem. Great food country cooking if you can go to some of these uh, knockoff barbecue joints and say yeah I paid $11 and you was full and, that, and, and that's cool if you want slap your mama shock value oh my god I'm going to eat it all right now big bulls banging barbecue southern comfort food on hard scrabble road check them out on the web they got a website, bigbullsbangingbarbecue.com. Um, they're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Got an app that you can order on. Um, this is solid. This is one of the best, one of the best barbecues I've had in the Southeast. And I know uh, it, it sounds overblown, maybe. Big Bulls Banging Barbecue Southern Comfort Food. Nine seven five. 975. Best I've had. Get the ribs. More of the ribs. All of the ribs. Try that pork. Try that pork uh dressing right there. Get your dessert, like my man said. He said try the sweets. I'm gonna have to try the sweets. I'm gonna come back. There's a big old menu, man. I might even eat oxtails. I don't even know. But big bull banging barbecue southern comfort food. Best I've had best within 30 miles of the Columbia area. That's a fact. Mark it down. 9.75. See y'all.